RBW Entertainment has released a teaser photo for their boy group, Anius, containing some details about their upcoming comeback title track mails. They have also released a short trailer video for the same comeback. In the video trailer, the background is like a dark sky with cracks of lightning. The background music is this dark eerie and creepy noise you often hear in horror movies. Their logo transformed into an apple-shaped one and was slowly being crawled by the snake-like creature. Comments on the video are all for support of the boys' comeback. According to a report, Anius will be making their comeback next month, September 5. They will be releasing their 8th mini-album Males. Anius' concept photo looks like an apple with a snake around it. It is also an updated form of their previous logos according to the fans. Many of them are saying that it will definitely be related to the origin story from the Bible about Adam and Eve. That specific story is famous for the forbidden apple and the snake in the Garden of Eden. There are also fans theorizing that it might not be about that, but other apple-related stories like the fairy tale Snow White, wherein the princess died because of eating the poisoned apple. Moreover, some fans have searched about the meaning of malus, and they found out that it is the Latin word for apple, proving their theories about the comeback being related to the fruit. On the other hand, two moons are just happy that Anius is coming back again to serve them amazing performances and songs. A successful Hallyu Pop Fest in Sydney finished last weekend. One of the groups that performed was Anius. Two moons were grateful that the group joined the festival. There were many of them who attended just to see their idols. Moreover, many fans of other idols were amazed by the stage presence and how Anius performed. Since they are from Rainbow Bridge World Entertainment, home to vocal queen Mamamoo, they are also known as great performers who prefer performing live. Once again, they proved that during the festival in Australia. Performing hard choreographies while still singing live. Not only did the fans enjoy the performance, but Anius gained new fans. Many were converted and became to moons after their appearance. Anius also enjoyed their performance at the festival, tweeting that it was a fun time. The boy group also got a chance to go around the city of Sydney, enjoying their time in the country, and going to different tourist spots. Are you curious as to what Anius has in store for us? Make sure to stay.